This video is going to show you how to use the chart grouping function and why it's useful in Mode of Wave. And it involves um, setting colors to associate with a particular chart. So I'm in the Apple chart here, and I'm going to, down here you have a set of colors. So I'm going to give the Apple chart a green color, and then green moves to the leftmost of all of the color choices you have and your link and unlink buttons so that when you minimize, if I were to pop out the Apple chart and I were to minimize the Apple chart, it would be down at the bottom. It's got a green button so I can um, spot it very quickly and pop it open whenever I want. Now I've got a number of charts here that have all been tagged red and all my red tagged charts are going to work in unison. So I click on one of them and they all open up and these could be all perhaps um, indices, they could be all metals, they could be all um, commodities that I've given red and I want them to all to work together. So when I finish looking at them and I put one away, they all go away. There is one thing however that I'll warn you about when you um, give charts the same color. If you change the name on one of the charts, it's going to change the name on all of the charts. So I want to change the SPX to something else, but I don't want to change all of my charts to that symbol. So I'm going to unlink. So you see here I create the red, but here I unlink. So now I can change this to Google. Can't even type and only this chart will change to Google and none of the others will. Now I'll link it back to red so that it's controlled as a group with all of the others. Um, why would I want to have all of my charts change to Google? Well, maybe I've got a one minute, a two minute, five, 15, 30, and a 60 minute chart. And I want to look at all the different time frames for Google. I would set this one at, um, here's two minutes, set this one at five minutes, Set this one at 15 minutes. And now if I wanted to change them all to Google, in any one of them, I simply change the stock symbol to Google, and they all become Google different time frames. So that's how to work with uh, grouping your charts. It's um, another powerful feature of Motive Wave.